Um, thanks for talking to us. A lot of people have been uh, skeptical when you started out playing poker, but now you've cashed at the EPT Snowfest. Um, did you feel you had something to prove? Um, well, I was very fortunate to, after three months after signing the deal with Poker Stars, I final tabled a major event in Amsterdam. So, uh, the Master Classic? Yeah, yeah. So, um, and for some people that meant that I could play poker. To be honest, I wasn't nearly as developed as I am now. Um, but everyone who plays poker knows that sometimes you have to have a good run too and, and not make too many mistakes or rather not make any mistakes. Yes. Um, so it's a combination of a lot of factors and I never really had a feeling that I had anything to prove because I knew what my deal was when I, you know, signed the contract. And, I mean, a lot of people ha are, uh, well, everyone has their own opinion and everyone is entitled to their own opinion. And, but I, it, I don't really let that affect my life, goals in life. Also, a lot of people follow you and follow your career. Does that have any influence on, on your game? Well, no, to be honest, if I would have to worry about, you know, people following me and that sort of stuff, then I think I just get antsy. So I, you know, I just do what I think is best. I try to train and just be focused. And I do something that is not very natural for me. And that is, you know, like I'm on Facebook and I, you know, tell people what I'm doing. And mm. I'm kind of getting used to it, but it's still a little odd for me. Uh, is there any poker player um, that you look up to? Any idol? Well, like a lot of people have that. I'm not a person that idolizes people, but I was just talking to the players at my table that it's so nice to play live tournaments because you get to talk to so many poker players and you learn so much from everyone you talk hands, you know, hands with. And um, but you know, like there's a lot of players that are just really good, and there's just diff different styles. What would you define your biggest goals in poker? My biggest goal in poker is just to become the best player that I can be. Um, yeah, and then hopefully run good, you know, get a good run and, and, and make the right decisions and win a tournament. I see. Um, you've joined the Dutch Poker Commission. Um, what's your role there and what are your expectations? Well, uh, I'm, I'm in the advice uh, council for the board um, and it's just a big mixture of, of like a lot of people, like over 20 people that can advise the board in different um, matters and especially because uh, the legalization of poker is a hot subject now in Holland with the new government, um, it's good to have like, well, a poker union that um, thinks of what's good for poker and can advise the people that are looking into how they should legalize poker if it gets legalized. So that's kind of the role that everyone in the in the advice so you council think, has. So you think that board can have an influence on the legalization process in Holland? Uh, I think obviously, yeah, yeah, definitely they can have a role. I mean, in the end, it's all part. Like the government has to want it. You know, uh, if they don't want it. There's the poker, you know, the poker association's not going to do anything. Okay, thank you very much, Fatima, okay. and good luck in the tournament. Thank, thank you. you.